there's a hurricane outside. Irma, a category five. This wall of wind and rain is only getting worse tonight. So as we go up to the north, here is the hurricane and it is gonna pass just west of Tampa Bay. The wind field now diminishing as it's a tropical storm and that's over southwest Georgia and Atlanta experiencing tropical storm force wind. It's bad guys. I, I have shelter above me so I'm, I'm safe here, but there's a lot of wind gusts. There's a lot of branches falling. It's kinda bad, but not as bad as Florida, thankfully. There's a lot of gusts right now. Like a lot, like I don't know if you can see the, the trees moving or not. The video really doesn't do it justice. It's kind of bad, so I'm gonna go back inside. And just lost power in the house. <laughs> I need to study, I have an exam on Thursday. Irma, why do you do this to me? I can't not have power. This is bad. Like I usually listen to the echoes or the recordings to get prepared for the exam, but <laughs> So since the power's out, I thought I'd tell you guys exactly what's going on. Today is Monday, September the 11th, and we're actually not in school today. Our classes were canceled. Everything was canceled for today and tomorrow, even though I don't think the hurricane is gonna be here tomorrow, but it's all canceled. Yeah, just kind of a kind of a chill day, just relaxing. Um, not much to do now with the power out. I would study my notes, but all my notes are on my laptop, and that doesn't last forever, only like a couple hours. But hopefully the power gets back on. Please, UGA. Turn the power back on, I'm begging you. Yes! The power's back on, baby! We're back in business. It's currently the next day. As you can see, I survived the great Hurricane Irma. Um, it's still a little bit of drizzling. So right now I'm at the old vet school because I'm getting ready to take a TPR or which stands for temperature respiration and pulse of a cat that me and my group of Caleb and Jonathan are actually going to be castrating tomorrow. And for those of you who don't know what castration, that means you're just plucking the testicles. <laughs> oh boy! I've never done that surgery before, so we're, we as a group are doing it tomorrow, so. That's what I'm gonna do real quick. There's the man. Did you survive the hurricane, Caleb? I'm fine. I thought there'd be more. I prepped and <laughs> yeah. just like, come at me, hurricane. <laughs> Where's it at? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. So I can't actually film anything in surgery because we're told not to. I can't like film the cat we're doing the castration on. I can't film anything um, because we're not supposed to, unfortunately. I would show you if I could. Yeah, that's the current situation. Um, let's prepare to. Let's prepare to castrate. <laughs> so as far as damage, there wasn't a whole lot to the campus. A couple branches down, a bunch of leaves, but overall, not too bad. It didn't hit us as hard as like Florida. Man, I'm glad I was in Florida, man. I'd probably still be able to power right now. As far as damage to the new vet school, it's really very minimal. No trees down, no branches. Like, I feel like nothing, nothing happened here, which is a good thing. Um, but it is now 10 a.m. on Wednesday, the next day, and so far we've missed two days of classes plus the morning classes. So in undergrad, you don't have to make up classes, but in vet school and graduate school, you, we do have to make them up, which is gonna really suck. Yo, Jonathan, you ready for surgery today? I'm good. He is the main surgeon today. I'm the assistant and Caleb is the anesthetist. So if the patient dies, it's because of you. <laughs> Or if you just cut something wrong, hopefully that doesn't happen. Or if you let me down and assist me properly. Yeah, if I don't assist Jonathan properly, something could go wrong, but hopefully not. We're, we're talking about removing testes. We're, and hemorrhage yeah. should not be a major factor. Exactly. So if it goes south, it's because of your anesthesia protocols. Probably. Are not up to par. <laughs> Let's get back into these classes. Here we go, let's go castrate a 
kitty cat. Wish us luck, guys. I don't know about Jonathan over here and his surgery skills. I don't know. Hey, you gotta assist me, so if it goes south, that's on you. You're both responsible. <laughs> You're responsible. You're really monitoring the breathing. Yeah, you uh, monitor the breathing. If this cat stops breathing and you won't say anything, that's on you. I oh, oh, <laughs> it doesn't seem to be breathing. This is fine. No, we got this, guys. It'll be fine. See y'all after the surgery. Well, the cat has been neutered and it was successful. <laughs> Caleb's not too excited. He's just glad it's over with. So glad. <laughs> so tired. I mean, it only took like an hour. Two hours, an hour. Little, yeah, the surgery like was only an hour. It wasn't bad. From like start to finish, yeah. But that's because you were the surgeon. You didn't have to do the anesthesia. That's the real. That's true. Oh, that's yeah. where all the work is. Anesthesia was where all the work is. All I did was remove the testicle. No big deal. Yes. Yeah. Right. Just got back. So, I did it. I castrated a cat. The cat has been castrated. The cat is fine. So I'm sorry I couldn't record any of it. I wish I really could because it was so epic. It may not seem like a big thing. Oh, we castrated a cat. But that's a big thing, yo. To be a vet, that's like an essential task you need to have to be able to castrate a cat. Like, I mean, it's just removing some testicles, but like, it's a big deal to me at least. So I'm so uh, excited and thankful that everything went well. And even though I only removed one testicle, Jonathan removed a testicle, Caleb was on anesthesia. We all had our roles. We all worked together. We were a team. We got it done. Dramatic representation. Doctor, pass the, pass the blade. How's the heart rate? Is it beating? <laughs> okay, it wasn't quite like that. But like, it was, it was a dope surgery. We got through it. The cat's doing well. The cat lived. The cat was very stable throughout the anesthesia. He now has two less testicles. And I have one more experience of neutering a cat. And it was a really great experience because after we finished, we got to wake him up. I wrapped him up in a little kitty burrito with a towel because he was still cold as shivers. I am going back to check on him at 8 p.m. tonight, but again, I can't film any of it. But I will say all the cats that we do get to practice on and, and learn how to actually neuter cats, they all come from a humane society. So they're all pets that are gonna go to a good home and we can actually adopt them if we choose to. I can't adopt a cat, otherwise I would have adopted him because he was the cutest little cat. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, as I said a million times, this building doesn't allow me to have a cat. I swear I'm gonna move out of here as soon as I can and I'm gonna get a pet, probably a cat, because I really love cats. And the last thing I wanted to touch on is why we actually do um, neuter cats as a profession and why it's so accepted to get your cat neutered. And the first reason is population control. There's an estimated 10 to 20 million dogs and cats euthanized per year, which is like crazy to me. That's such a high number. And so that's one of the main reasons why we castrate cats so they have less offspring, so there's less rural cats running around, so there's less cats that have to be euthanized in the future. And that's one of the biggest reasons that we actually do it. The second reason we recommend all cats being castrated is that it controls their hormones. So when you castrate cats, they have less, they have less hormones that make them want to go off and fight other cats or just roam around. And it also, when you castrate them, it decreases their chance of contracting STDs or sexually transmitted diseases because they're not running off trying to just mate with everything. And besides that, when you castrate a cat, studies show that on average, castrated cats and cats that have been neutered live longer, which is great. So if you want your little kitty to live longer, and if it's a male, get them castrated. It's like a win-win benefit, pretty much. There's really no 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 reason to not have your cat castrated that I can see. So yeah, cat castration under the belt. Next up, dog castration. Next week we're doing a dog castration. I think the week after that we're doing a cat spay, which is on a female cat, so we're fixing a female cat, and then we're doing it with a female dog. So look out for that. A lot of surgeries this year. This year is this third year is really about getting some surgery under your belt and learning how to do the essential surgeries like cat and dog spay and neuters, which is a huge part of our veterinary career and industry. So I'm so excited that we get to do that right now. First surgery went well, I hope the others go just as well and smoothly. And with that, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I hope y'all stayed safe during Hurricane Irma. Take it easy guys, I'll see y'all next week. Goodbye. Like a surgeon, hey. cutting for the very first time. Did you ever have times in undergrad where like, if you were happy with your grade in the class, you wouldn't have to take the final. Oh my gosh.